الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ و سلم علی نبی محمد و علی علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ in ending this treaties be merciful to Salafia or have mercy upon Salafia by Sheikh Badr al-Utaybi Hafadhullahu Ta'ala the Sheikh said in closing it does not matter to me if a lurking, deviated, ikhwani, an arrogant sururi, a rebellious khadiji, an ignorant tabliki, or even a misguided ashadi, a hating rafadi, or a cursed liberal rejoices due to my speech. And we already talked about why that is. Because of the hadith of the Prophet that if Allah guides by your hand to him, uh, one person it's better for you than the red camels he says we are not a his you know we're not hisbies that we have to exchange advice and principles beneath the table or secretly write them on notice boards in lonely corridors he said, my way is Salafiyah, I defend it and what concerns it. I have concern for my Salafi brothers. My statements regarding the mistakes of individuals is in order to rectify, purify, and cultivate. <clears throat> it is in order to protect the Salafi methodology from that which has been ascribed to it and it is not, and is not from it. Whatever I wrote is like medicine, inshallah, and cauterization, burning with hot rod is a type of medicine perhaps after the hotness and pain of the rod there will be some cure and then he said wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyana muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbi wa sallam and this was written by sheikh badr ibn ali ibn taymi al utaybi and so ahabati fillah it's very important for us that the Shaykh he wrote this in order to be a medicine. Walillah alham, we finished it, and I hope that people benefited from it. Uh, that this should be like a medicine to cure some of the ailments, and if nothing else, to leave some seeds with the youth that they need to gain knowledge and fiqh of their Salafiyyah, and that Salafiyyah is not based upon false, innovative principles even if it comes from the mouths of certain du'at or the mouths of, of, of others who make new principles and claim that it's Salafiyyah who go against what the Salaf were upon and that I hope that we benefit in, from the principle al-ibra bi haqaiq laysa bi musammiyat that the reality of something is in its substance not in its name so by calling ourselves Salafi, that doesn't mean we're Salafi. But what means we're Salafi is if we're practicing Salafiyyah and calling to the Da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah, Salafiyyah, meaning calling to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah, the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. As our Shaykh, Shaykh al muqbil bin Hadi al-Wa'di, Allah Yarhamu said, Da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah, Da'wah to من كتاب الله إلى كتاب الله ومن سنة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إلى سنة رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. that the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah it is the da'wah from the book of Allah to the book of Allah and from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم. so that is very important for us to understand that and to practice that and to affirm that. And to actually call to that, that that should ultimately be the aim is that we're calling people to the Quran and the Sunnah. We're calling people to worship Allah alone. That's that is what it is. It's not about calling to our group, our sect, our group of brothers, our clique, our website, our forum, our university, or whatever the case may be. But it's to call it. It's calling to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's what we have to remember. That's what Dawah is. 
That's what da'wah is. Is that that's the asal of the da'wah, the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah is that it's calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's calling people to worship Allah alone and free themselves from shirk and kufr or bid'ah. And we also hopefully gained insight and learned that da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah is based on principles and a strong foundation and that it takes knowledge to be able to discern those principles and understand those principles and to apply, practice and apply those principles and that the many imams of the sunnah they espouse those principles and hopefully that we also benefited from this treatise that we should not be quick to warn against our brothers cut off our brothers especially when we have the same ulama and we have the same uh, we go to the same books of the salaf and we're not differing in usul, but rather, rather we differ in furu and 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 uh, tatbik practice of some of those principles, and in differing over certain individuals. But yet we quickly, quickly cut one another off, and anyone who's associated with this one and associated with that one, and he listened to this one, he's off it too. So this is a very important that we have to reflect on those principles and where they came from and understand that it really takes fiqh fi deen to understand and apply the method of the salaf. And lastly, I want to say that the youth hopefully will not remain confused about every single issue because they get so caught up in fitna. And they get so caught up in not learning about their Islam and not learning about those things that will benefit them and bring them closer to Allah. But instead they learn about those things that will bring them further to Allah and gain them sin. Wallahu musta'an wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal and anything I said that was incorrect was for myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.